To the west of the modern city of Cairo in Egypt is a large rocky plateau that sticks out of the desert sand. This plateau is called Giza. Over 4,000 years ago, large tombs were built here for the Egyptian pharaohs. They are amazing feats of engineering. Three giant pyramids that rise high above the desert like great mountains of solid stone. Together they are called the Pyramids of Giza, and even in their crumbling state, they are considered a wonder of the ancient world. No records from ancient Egypt have survived that tell what the pyramids looked like when they were first built. It wasn't until about 2,000 years ago, in 37 BC, when the Egyptian civilization was taken over by the Roman Empire, that the recorded history of the pyramid starts. Around this time, a Greek geographer named Strabo set out to solve the mysteries of the Great Pyramids. He discovered a secret entrance into the largest pyramid, which could not be seen unless its exact location was known. Strabo found that this entrance opened up into a small passage that descended 274 feet into a burial chamber dug deep in the solid rock of the plateau. When Strabo discovered the burial chamber, it had already been looted by ancient grave robbers. After Strabo's discovery, the exact location of this secret entrance into the Great Pyramid was lost, and for almost 800 years, no one was able to enter it. Around 813 AD, an Arab named Al-Mamun was determined to find the entrance again and re-explored the inside of the pyramid. He and an army of workers chiseled their way for over 100 feet into the solid rock. Using a battering ram to move the stones, they found the descending passage. They also stumbled upon another secret passage that sloped upward into a second great chamber. Mamun followed this passage which led further up to a third chamber called the King's Chamber. They used torches to light their way through the dark passage. There wasn't much air for them to breathe and large bats swarmed past them as they climbed up and up into the heart of the Great Pyramid. Here they found the chamber with a magical geometry. Not only was it made with perfectly fitted stones, but it was located precisely in the center of the pyramid. That means that the portion of the pyramid above the chamber is exactly one half the size of the entire pyramid. Small holes lead from the chamber to the outside. These holes are like telescopes pointed directly at the stars. Over the thousands of years since their construction, the pyramids have all been looted. Even the smooth stone which once covered the outside surface was stripped and used to rebuild the city of Cairo. Today, most archaeologists agree that the pyramids of Giza were built as tombs for three different kings. The largest of the three was built for King Khufu. The second great pyramid was built for King Khafre, and the third was built for King Menkoda. Standing near the pyramids of Giza is the Sphinx. This Sphinx has the body of a lion and the face of Khafre himself. The word pyramid comes from the Greek word pyramis, which means wheat cake. The Greeks made small cakes which were the same shape as the Egyptian tombs, and so that's what they called the tombs when they saw them. One reason the Egyptian pyramids seem so mysterious is because it's hard to imagine how the ancient Egyptians could have built them without cranes or tractors or any modern engineering equipment. Digging the burial chamber into the stone floor was the first step in building a pyramid. When the hole for the burial chamber was finished, 
the huge stone blocks were moved to the site. They were cut from stone cliffs along the Nile River and transported by boat to the Giza Plateau. There they were raised and fitted perfectly into their proper places. The largest of the three pyramids is made of more than two million stone blocks that weigh about two and a half tons each. That means that each of these stone blocks weighs more than the average car. That's a lot of stone. No one knows exactly how the ancient Egyptians moved the stone blocks into the shape of a pyramid. Most archaeologists think the ancient Egyptians may have used giant ramps to raise the stones to their proper level. We do know that a pyramid is formed with a square base and four triangular sides angled into the center. The top of each pyramid is the exact center of the square base. The largest pyramid of Giza is 484 feet high, and each side of its square base is about 755 feet long. Because of this height and base length, each triangular side has an angle of 51 degrees. That's a much steeper slope than the average staircase. What's more amazing is that each of the four sides of the pyramids are set precisely on the points of the compass. Each side faces north, south, east, or west. The ancient Egyptians had no compass, so they must have used the stars and the sun to find the compass points. Today, the city of Cairo spans to the edge of the desert, where the pyramids of Giza loom on the horizon. To the people of Cairo, the pyramids are a constant reminder of an ancient time.